Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make beef stew in the crock pot. So this is super, super easy to make. I cut up some celery and some onions and some carrots. Um, the recipe on the website calls for a few more carrots and a few more celery, um, but I have a really small crock pot, and so I wanted to make sure there was enough room for the meat that I had. Then I added some Worcestershire, and now I'm adding about two pounds of stew beef. And so if you want to make this a little bit fancier, you can brown the beef before you put it in, and that will give it some more flavor. But I was going for super easy, so I just put it in the crock pot. And now I'm adding some chicken stock. You could add water, you could add beef stock. I just so happen to have this container of chicken stock, so I decided to use it. Now I'm going to add some salt and pepper. You could also add some baby potatoes to this. It would be really good with some potatoes in it. And then I added about two tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. That's about how much is in a packet. And then I added some garlic powder and onion powder and some paprika. You could add other seasonings as well, like if you had some bay leaves or um, if you wanted to add some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat, etc. But you just cook it on low for six to eight hours. And there it is all done. If you want to see more recipes like these, check out loavesanddishes.net. If you want to hear more from myself and my mom, we do have a podcast. It's called Dorks with Sporks, and you can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video every Monday through Friday, and you can follow us on Facebook at Loaves and Dishes for more. Thanks for watching.